Hi guys, PD here, welcome to the channel, welcome to another new video. Today we're jumping back into the House of the Dead and today again I'm playing with the uh, with my uh, Oculus controllers like light guns and as you can probably see I've modded my controllers as well. I've now got my gun stocks on here. In today's video I'm going to show you how to get this up and running. Also I made it a bit better. You're going to be playing this game in a VR headset, so I'm going to show you how to play the game in 3D as well. So I'm going to do like a tutorial video at the end of this uh, game session. And this is the closest you're going to get to playing this game, like the official arcade game back in the day when you had the light guns. So I'm playing this game on the giant screen in front of me. It's all in 3D. These zombies are in my face, I need to reload. I need to learn to aim. Sophie? And I'm using a program called Reshade and SuperDet 3D to give me the uh, 3D on the screen. So all the blood splattering in my face. Now you can play this game with just one handed. I use two handed, it's just like natural for me to double shoot. Now I had some friends come round the other day, Dr. Oculus and Daisnetic, and then um, I put them both into this experience. Dr. Oculus did notice if you're playing this game like with the uh, Illink, there's a bit of delay with the uh, shooting. I'm now connected up to my PC with a cable and there's no more lag. So it's instant firing for me. Reload. I'm going to try to show you as much of the gameplay as possible before my headset runs out of juice. Um, I tried my headset last night but it's still on low. It's on very low so I'm hoping this works. I don't remember these toads. I'm going to do a guide after the gameplay as well to show you how to install the mod, how to get the game running, how to make sure it's working with the with your controllers, like light guns, werewolves. This looks really, really cool though, because these zombies are in my face. I'm now playing this game in 3D. So it feels more like a, a natural VR game. And, if you watched my last video, I actually played this game in a 3D environment, but my screen was 2D. Now, I'm in a 3D environment and the screen's in 3D as well. This works really well. The 3D is amazing. So right now this is the ultimate arcade experience. And this is as close as you're going to get to the original arcade game with light guns. These work really, really well. I don't remember a lot of these levels. What the hell are these things? Now because this is in 3D as well, you need to um, judge the crosshairs a bit better because you've got that depth now, you've got the added depth. 
that you need to uh, worry about. I had some comments from people in my last video saying they could not get the, the light guns to work. Now you do need to make sure you're running the mod or the patch for the game for this to work. This game needs to be in free roam mode. And if you just boot up the game up normally and you try to play the normal game, it's not going to work. Myself and uh, my good friend Bido Benjo had the same problem. It took us hours to work out why it's not working. And it's because you need the... Um, you need the patch mod to be able to get this to work. I've also tried this method with a few other games on Steam that uses like light guns. And it's not working with those games. So it's definitely the uh, patch that's helping this to work. This feels really good though. This feels amazing. And if you want to uh, start a game, you hit the X button and it brings up a keyboard and you just hit the one key on your virtual keyboard. I know Ben had problems when he played it, he had to go to his keyboard but there was no tutorial back then so it was all hit and miss. Well now we've got like tutorials so this is working great guys. And there's no lag now, there's no lag with the, uh, with the cable. If you do play this game with Airlink, expect some uh, latency with the, with the controllers. This is like perfect, but well, you might notice some drift using Airlink. Like I said, Dr. Oculus had the drift. He noticed it straight away. But well, now it's all gone with the cable. I'm using the Quest version of Virtual Desktop to play the game. No. And there is an option in Virtual Desktop. You, uh, you have to uh, bring up the main screen, bring up the menu, then you shoot away from the main screen. You'll get a pop-up menu at the bottom where you can select the uh, stereoscopic off side by side, which is going to allow you to play this game in 3D. You'll also need to install Reshade, which I'm going to show you at the end of this uh, gameplay. I'm going to do a fresh install of the game. I'm going to uninstall all my mods and everything. That's why I wanted to get some gameplay first so that I can start fresh and show you guys how to get this all working. Okay, my quest has died. Yeah, my quest has just died, so I'm going to uh, jump into the tutorial now. Okay guys, I've uninstalled the game, I've deleted all the mods. I'm reinstalling the game and we're going to start fresh. So you need to install the game, this is on Steam. At the moment on Steam, it's 66% off, £7.64. So install the game. Once you've installed the mod, you're going to head over to this website here. This is on GitHub. I'll leave a link to this website below this video. So there's going to be a link Click the link, it's going to take you to this website. On this web page, it tells you all about the mod, compatibility, installation, configuration. And on this page, make sure you head over to where it says releases and click on latest. You need to download the latest version of the mod. On this page, make sure you select the top one here, House of the Dead Remake Arcade version 2.0 zip. Download it onto your PC. This is the folder we just downloaded. We're going to unzip it. And we now have a new folder. Inside this folder, everything in here we need to drag 
into the game folder where the game's installed on Steam. So if you don't know where that is, go to your Steam library, right click on the game in your library, go to properties, click on installed files, and where it says browse, click on browse, it's going to show you where the game's installed on your PC. The folder on the right is where the game's installed on Steam. The folder on the left is the mod we just downloaded. We're going to grab these files and we're going to drag them across into the Steam folder. Once you drag the files across, we're going to run Arcane Mod config.exe. So run that. Okay, so this is the configuration for the mod. We're going to select Free Play on. Uh, you can mess around with these other settings here. I played the uh, difficulty on easy mode. Single player. You can mess around with the display settings if you want to. Um, turn bloom off, turn motion blur off, that sort of thing. Uh, once you're happy with your settings, you're going to click on save config. This mod is going to convert the game into like a free play mode that works exactly as I've shown you in the video with the with the hand controllers and the shooting mechanics. If you try to play the game without this mod, it won't work. I tried it and uh, when you press your buttons, they don't register with the game. So you need to make sure this mod is running for it to work. If it doesn't work, then you've done something wrong. Now we've got the mod or the patch installed, we're going to test it out on the Quest 2. I can't test it on my Quest 2 because my batteries have died. So I'm going to use my Quest Pro just to show you the uh, virtual desktop settings. Okay, I'm recording what I can see on my Quest Pro. You're going to have to do the same thing I'm doing right now with the Quest 2. You need to make sure you've got virtual desktop running. Go to your app library, click on virtual desktop. Okay, no computer found. So virtual desktop cannot find my PC. I'm going to have to go to this website here, look, www.vrdesktop.net. And we're going to have to download an app it's going to allow the Quest 2 and the Quest Pro to connect to the PC. So I'm just going to download the app. I want the uh, Windows version. I'm going to run the app on my PC. Now, if you've used Virtual Desktop before, then you've probably got this uh, installed anyway. But if you've never used Virtual Desktop before, you need to install this uh, file. Welcome to the Virtual Desktop Streamer Setup Wizard. Click on next, install it, install. Okay, we're going to launch it. And you should see this. So if you uh, restart your PC and this is installed, this will boot up automatically with your PC. So now we've got that running, we can um, try again. Okay, let me quit virtual desktop. And then we're going to run the program again. And this time it should find my PC. Okay, this is virtual desktop running. You can see my big giant screen in front of me. And you can see the uh, 3D background behind it as well. If you hold down the menu key, you bring up the virtual desktop menu. Now from in here, you can change the environment. You can have like pass through mode so you can see your house around you. You can play the game in a theater. You can even play the game in like a computer room. So it's all up to you really. You need to make sure you go to input. In the input settings, you need to make sure emulate gamepad on PC is ticked. That's going to allow you to play the game with your controllers. I'm going to get rid of the menu. Now we can jump into the game and the, the controllers are going to act very similar to light, light guns. The type of guns you used to get in the OG arcades. So we're going to click on play and this screen in front of me is about the size of the screen you get when you go to the cinema. Okay, so we're going to hit the X button on the controllers to bring up the virtual keyboard. And on the virtual keyboard, we're going to hit one to insert a coin. If you see any other menus like a single player and an options menu, 
then you're running the normal game and this is not going to work. Like I said, you need to make sure this mod is installed and working for this to work. Okay, here we go. There you go, it's working. I'm controlling the shooting now with my controllers. I've actually hidden the crosshairs this time, so I have to guess just by pointing my little dots. So I'm playing this game in like a 3D environment on a flat screen, on a giant flat screen. But we are already playing the game in a VR headset, so why not go the extra mile and why not put the game in 3D as well. I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, so to get the actual game in 3D as well, which um, if you watch the start of the video in a VR headset with side by side, you can see what the 3D looks like. Go to Reshade and you need to uh, click on download. Now this time, normally I tell people to download the top one, but this game does not work with this there's generic reshade. So we're going to download the bottom one, which has got full add-on support. Click on the link there and you're going to get a warning message to say that this build is intended for single player only. If you try this version of reshade with like a multiplayer, there's a chance that you might get banned because the, the game might pick it up like a cheat engine. So only use this if you're going to be playing like a single player type game. So yep, okay, I'm fine with uh, downloading this version. We've downloaded Reshade, we're going to run it. Now Reshade is going to search my PC for all my games and we're looking for the House of the Dead. So I'm going to scroll down. It should be under the House of the Dead. Okay, here we go, the House of the Dead. So we select the file, click on next. We're going to select DirectX 10, 11, 12. Click on next. Click on next again. Uncheck everything. Select Depth 3D by Blue Sky Defender. Click on next. Reshade is now downloading all the files to convert the game into 3D. Uncheck everything. Make sure you select Super Depth 3D VR or Super Depth 3D underscore VR. Click on next. And that's Reshade installed. Now, when we run the game, we're going to have a new menu from Reshade and that's going to allow us to play the game in 3D. So let's run the game. I can see the Reshade menu, so I know it's working. Hit the home key, click on continue. This is the Reshade menu. Click on continue. And we're going to select SuperDet 3D underscore VR. And we now got like a double image. I'm going to click on continue. In here, I'm going to put my IPD, which is 64. Okay, we need the main game running to check the 3D is working. Once you're in the main game, scroll down to this section here. DM0 normal needs to be on reversed. And we're going to have a look at the depth map view. So select depth map range, make sure that's ticked. Uh, let me just continue the game so it doesn't quit on me select the depth map view we should get like a, a grade into color now this is reversed it's upside down so we need to flip the depth map here so you can see like a grade into gray here the darker the gray the closer the object is to your eyes so we need to make a really nice gradient here now this stereo at the moment I think I need to hit the one key The stereo at the moment is on 7.1. We're going to put this to about 70. And you should see the screen get darker look. So we're now adding more 3D to the game. The darker the grey, the closer the object is to your eye. So you can see the trees in the background. You can see the zombie really up close. Let me 
add another coin. So around 70 we've got a really nice image so like I said make sure you've got this on DM1 reversed. These are going to have to be ticked. Set your stereo depth to 70.1. Now if I get rid of the depth map we now have a stereo image. So when I play this game in my virtual desktop on the Quest 2 or the Quest Pro the game in that big giant screen is going to be in 3D. I'm going to show you now how to set up your virtual desktop to play this in 3D. Okay, so this is what I can see in my Quest Pro at the moment. I've got two images, but no 3D. So I need to tell virtual desktop on the Quest 2 and the Quest Pro to convert this image into a 3D image that I can see. So what you do is you aim outside the screen, hold down the trigger button. You should get this little pop-up menu here, look. You need to make sure you select half side by side. As soon as you hit the half SPS, we now have like a, a single screen. For you guys watching this video, this is just a 2D screen. But for me, it's in 3D and it looks amazing. So not only do I see a 3D background around me, I'm in space. I've now got a 3D monitor as well. And these zombies are coming towards me. They're in my face and everything. This feels amazing guys, it really does. Now I feel like I'm playing this game in an arcade. I've got simulated light guns and the game's running in an amazing 3D. Okay, hit the one key. And if you want to, you can go to your virtual desktop lot. You can change your environment. I can like play in the cinema. Big giant cinema lot. I'm sat in a cinema. Look at this, playing House of the Dead with some light guns on a big giant 3D screen. This is amazing. This is terrible. Reload. Reload. Hit the barrel. Reloading. No you don't. Now, the closer you get the screen to your face, the more the 3D is going to pop. If you've ever been to the cinema to watch a 3D movie, that's how I'm playing this game at the moment. I feel like I've just hired out the cinema to play this game. Uh, these bats fly out of the screen as well. So the bats really fly out of the screen into your face. This is super cool, guys. If you want to know what this looks like, check out the start of my video where I show the game in 3D and you can watch it in 3D in a VR headset as well. Sorry mate, wasn't fast enough. Yeah, this is awesome. Okay, let me try some other environments before we go. How about a modern apartment at night? Okay, look at this guys. I'm in a 3D apartment playing on the 3D monitor. That looks amazing with these splatters on the screen. Oh, that's so cool. This small screen in 3D looks stunning with the little uh, little blobs coming towards me. Okay, shoot that one. Look at my little lamp, lava lamp. That street's animated, all the cars are moving. Hello big guy. This is super cool. And I feel like I've got my controllers in front of me in the actual virtual desktop. So good. Can we blow that up? Yes we can. Okay, this is new for me. I've not been this way before so See what we've got. Werewolves. Something's coming. Terminator dude. Thank you. Oh, sorry. 
I'm sorry. Thought he was a monster. I'm a bit addicted, to be honest. This game's so good. Reload! Got him. Thank you. Take this. No, you don't. Put your chainsaws away. Bowls Inc. There's Arnie. This is so good, guys. If you get a chance, give this a try. Please, please, please give this a try. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. I'm having so much fun, though. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Show to my little bell. Die. And I'll see you in the next one. Sophie, are you okay? I was so scared. Ouch. Okay, shoot him in the heart. Ouch. You can play this game with one control if you like. I'm so used to like just pressing both guns together. Shoot him in the head. Die! I don't know why the developers don't bring this into VR. It makes perfect sense. They could do some like real proper light gun type crazy action with this game. Developers, do it. Make this into a VR game, please. See you later. Bye. If you're into VR gaming, go and subscribe to Paradise Decay. He's been like he's the OGs of VR gaming, okay? It's funny, as I was walking from the, the, the train station, I bumped into Paradise Decay, who obviously mods our streams regularly and is like, you know, a huge part of the community. And uh, Doc, Dr. Oculus, they were kind of lost walking around and I went up to approach him. <laughs> and Paradise Decay thought I was gonna mug him or something. <laughs> but I actually just went, I just went and just gave him a big hug. Um, so, all right, let's go, boys. Let's make the magic so happen. You've tried to salvage it, Nathy. <laughs> Nathy, if you want, I can hide your nameplate. Why? Then people can't see how bad you are. Oh, oh, oh. oh. that roast! Hey. Hello. <laughs> Someone called a fire brigade. Nathy's on fire. He just got roasted. <laughs> 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 Might want to um, break there, Mike. <laughs> why is PD going the wrong way around the track? <laughs> Shits and giggles. That's awesome. His eyes are sorted now. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say, <laughs> she's, really? his eyes have been no, fixed. Yeah. He should be all right now. His eyes have been fixed. Oh yeah, you're in. Okay. Whoa! Well, well, yeah. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! That's the, that's oh, PD off track. Bully. PD, I saw. I was dead. You were running around for me, like Steve. Where are you? <laughs> <Steve? laughs> <laughs> That's why it was That's perfect. He, sorry, he didn't even know he could kill people. <laughs> hey, we're not friends anymore, PD. It's over, man. Jack. It's over. <laughs> so yeah, he's, PD's sitting there playing the fool. He's like, how do I get rid of the map? What's going yeah. on? Yeah. Yeah, 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 he totally was doing that. I was totally thrown off What is Blissful Life to be looking for Steve? <laughs>